Yeah, hello everyone, it's Roast Get Good Fonts, and it's time for some more State of Decay 2. We are in the beta. This is Super Waifu Cafeteria Squad, the Hyper Community World Tour. Okay, so today what we're going to do is probably clean some stuff up. Now, we are going to be preparing to move to the next area, but I think what I want to do next... Oh, really? Really? I, I guess the answer is really. Really, really, really. Oh, well. Let's get the door back on. So, I want to clean up the map a little bit before we move on. And by that, I mean I want to uh, get some of these quests done. I want to get rid of some grumpy butts. As well as, um, let's, ke let's keep some of these things going. We've got a lot of influence. It's time to spend it. Okay, I don't know which grumpy butts they want to go for. There's two of them. we got grumpy butts here and grumpy butts there. I, wanna, I, just, I don't want them either. I want to get rid of them. Uh, they do interfere with the Enclave cap. This is one of the ones where I wish you could just tell them that, hey, I don't need your help. Why don't you? Why don't we just chill out? That's something that, like, you know, like, that they are a defeat condition. If our AI ally dies, that is B-A-D. Let's try and grab the materials while we're here. Got sets around. Oh, I see we do. We're also playing as one of our new characters. Because we might as well get people leveling up. Oh, another one. There we go. Okay, let's grab the building materials. Now, I do happen to have some scent block with me, which should make this not only faster, but also safer. Okay, we'll keep that on cooldown. Let's move over here and let's take out these grumpardos. Go, 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 go. We're, we're gonna get there, don't worry. Now we also have some bloater gas and I was like, you know what? Bloater gas is pretty useful against hostile humans. But you know what else bloater gas is useful for? Destroying plague hearts. And I was like, yep, I could definitely use that against them instead. Three bloater gas grenades is enough to destroy one play guard. Assuming I don't, like, you know, mess the whole thing up. But even if I did, I, I could finish it off. But I don't think I will. So here is our first set of Grumperonis. Now, here's what I'm hoping. I'm going to turn the scent block on and start honking my horde. What I'm hoping is that he will not get out of the vehicle. If he gets out of the vehicle, this is going to be a problem. Oh, gosh. It's a robbery. Let me see if he's going to get out. Oh, thank God he doesn't want to get out. I was so worried that he would want to get out. As long as we're in the car, it's fine. I mean, it, it, it's annoying that we're in kind of a remote location, and it would be even easier if we had access to, you know, something halfway decent like a... like a... Um, a zombait. But this is honestly not terrible. So what I can do is use the scent block to my advantage. I can just drive right here. We can see all the action, and it's going to distract the zon the enemies. Uh, we need to get the attention of those zombies over there. Unfortunately, this is not in the dense zombie zone, and that is a problem because it it's going to be, a despite being lethal zone, it will be a little harder. If we could get a screamer, that would be great. So I'm just going to drive right here, shine the light on them. We get a nice up-close view of the action. Uh, we don't have to worry about the, the front of the car won't spike the zombies, so we don't get any accidental zombie spikings. 
And as I said, the AI is focused on shooting me. Come on, bloater. I see that bloater in the distance. You know you want to come over here. Hey, let me get a little closer. There we go. Okay, we got the bloater moving in the right direction. Oh, no. Oh, he's running over to him. What's he gonna do? Oh, here it comes. Oh, right in it. Get him. 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 How did you not get him? Oh, not mashing the X button. But you heard it here first, folks. When you get grappled by zombies, you might want to mash the X button so you don't get bit repeatedly. I, I, I love how that guy over there is like, Man, I'm not, I'm, I'm hiding over here by these pipes. Like, I ain't going nowhere. Let me honk a few more times, maybe there's a few, a few more respawns. Wow, these guys are not going down very quickly. Come on, zombies. You gotta take them out in five minutes. If you don't take them out in five minutes, I'm gonna have to use another scent block. I can't, that, that character was in the bloater gas for so long. There we go, take him out. Take him out. I love how our, our AI guy is actually smart. He's staying inside the car, safe and sound. I mean, I'd love to have a bigger pack of zombies. Oh, where I that, was, that could have been dangerous. A bloater apparently exploded. Come on, take him out, zombies. Yes, get him. Get him. Oh my God, so much health. Where did that happen? Over there. Oh, oh, good. Oh, there goes one. There goes two. All right, let's get them over here. Look at him just getting like owned by bloater gas. Like, like that's gonna save us some time. Although the the scent block is wearing off, so we gotta back off. It's gonna wear off any moment now. Okay, the bloater gas softened them up. And now he's got to deal with all of them without any backup because I, I don't know. He just thought it was a good idea. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh-oh, he's got a heavy weapon. Heavy weapons are... The, the AI does pretty decently with heavy weapons, honestly. Look at him. Even he's, even, he's tired. Oh. He's tired and he's still owning them. Come on, don't let him attack. What are you doing? Great, now I'm drawing him off me. I'll just move around like this. They really want to go for me. It's like, that's, that's the smart thing. Yes, don't go for like the tasty human that is like very accessible. Go for, like, the guy in the armored vehicle. Uh-oh. He's getting a little, like, a little crazy there. Like, no, nope, don't draw him to me. Okay, let's try going over here. Honestly, this guy doesn't have a gun. I might be able to just burn him. Our guy has a gun. Take him out. 
We're bringing the break out the gun. Take him out. He's right behind you. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Never mind. Ah! Not bad. Not bad. Oh, now a screamer arrives. Okay, now to take what's ours. Um, okay, look, maybe I can trade. That would be neat. Can I trade? The answer is apparently no. You're a real friend. Anytime your people need a drink, you know where to go. Okay, we just, oh, I didn't think we would max out our character that soon. I mean, I'm not unhappy with that result. There's the big 500 influence right there. Very good. Uh, let me go and equip that. I really would prefer to not make two trips here. Nothing here. Surprise. Where is the last one? Hey, okay, right in that big old pile. Makes sense. Yeah, get out there and distract them. Like, I've got things to do. Um, yeah, most of this is not going to stack. Maybe there's an outpost I want here. I'll take a food outpost. One food outpost, that should, like, basically cut the majority of our food losses. So what I'm going to do is remark this location. We'll set that up as a food outpost, and then we'll come back here, mop up the rest of our stuff. Then we can go neutralize those other Grumpardos. I think they're going to be a little easier to deal with as well. Oh, God. That's our buddy over there who um, seems to have, like, most... Oh, no, no, here's our buddy right here. Okay, I thought I thought he might have gotten some attention. That doesn't appear to be the case, though. Very, very fortunate. Got sets around. Okay. Tired. Let's neutralize. Area secure. Claim. Oh, gosh. Why don't you calm down? Okay. Let's go ahead and throw all of this in. Then we'll empty out the back. Now that's heavy. Let's also check to see if uh, I do have a repair kit. Very convenient. Let's bring a second one. Actually, let's not. I feel like we're going to be okay. All we need to do now is get the loot from that other guy, whoever was last. Oh, two painkillers and some snacks. That is very similar to not bringing anything home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like that, It's really, really making a difference. Now, if I remember right, she was right in here. Yep, okay. Now we can drop all this stuff off. And then we can set a course to grump grumpy butts over there. Now, those guys are in the plague territory, and I think that's also a dense zombie area, so it should be even easier to deal with them, because not only will we have a more regular supply of zombies, they're going to be mostly plague zombies, if not all plague zombies, which means we can either defeat them through health damage, or we can defeat them through plague damage. Both of those, I, and I'm fine with both. Both results are very nice. We might as well loot this while we're here. I'm just going to quick loot. Is that it? Didn't realize I missed this gallery. Oh, I'm about to say, are we going to get away with three of them? I'm going to drop this off at the base since we're now going to have some um, visitors. But it's all good. Okay, step two. Drop this off. Change characters so that we can start gaining uh, standing with another character. Even though this character's fighting skill is really low, check out her total health. And that is thanks to all of the bonuses that we're stacking up. And that's what I mean by why the, the gym is so good. 
The reason the gym is so good is because it gives you a little more room to make mistakes. Now, Lethal Zone does enough damage that uh, a little bit of room is still, you know, like that. Don't don't mistake a little bit of room for like, oh, I could just go blah, 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 I'd do whatever the heck I want. No, you, that is not what you can do. But um, let me see. Can we upgrade this? Yeah, we can upgrade that without going like really bad on materials. I believe we can start setting up some outposts as well as we begin reclaiming territory. That'll be useful. I don't need this. Let me put some of these back. We do, at the moment, we need to share those. Reload. Put all of this back. You go on guard duty with, I don't know, that, that's a perfectly good weapon. Now we're going to play as Amelia. She's our brand new character, the one that has sewing. So first up, let's outfit her properly. And I will... Do we not have any? Okay, I was about to say, there's one right there. Let's get you some decent painkillers, some decent stamina items, um, a cure, scent block, and, of course, the old Launcheroni. And let's get you, like, a more normal weapon. I, I really, really don't want to. I don't want to use a heavy weapon with someone who doesn't have powerhouse. I don't want to use a heavy weapon in general if I'm not destroying plague arts. Okay. Setting a course for... Wait, what are you a wandering trader? Oh, you're a network trader? Hold on. A, wait, wait a second. Just wait a moment. Let's get some stuff to sell. Are there any... Yeah, I want to sell that. I might hang on to that. Um, and we'll just sell some of those. Okay. Empty some of this out, and uh, we should be able to pick up another network signal booster. The signal booster is such a useful mod, and a lot of people don't have a signal booster, that I, I like to collect all of them. I like to collect them all. Also, reference manuals. The, the reference books, that's a really good one, and I like to collect that one as well. Because it is also a fairly uncommon mod... And it's quite useful. Not quite as useful as... Let's go ahead and find survivors. Let's just keep these things crack a -lacking. Okay, what do you got for me? First we'll sell these. Boom, 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 boom. And what do I want from you? Signal booster? Oh, look at this white noise machine. That's what I'm talking about. I love all of those. Yeah, yeah, um, what, what's happening? Mysterious broadcast? Oh, look at these guys. They're about to be, uh, visited by some unfortunate events. How, how fortuitous for the fox. The most auspicious. Now I won't have to, like, give them the Grumpardo treatment. There go the zombies. Like, look, look, the zombies are actually the good guys of State of Decay 2. Not only did they allow us to safely complete the Beer Guys quest, but they are also going to most conveniently deal with these Grumpardos. They're actually going to save me a scent block. I, I, will, I get to keep one more scent block because of this. I'll be there with you before you know. Actually, it's probably the crossbow killer, now that I think on it better. We'll see when we get there, though. Yeah, if, if, if it's a mysterious broadcast on the hostile community, that probably means it's the crossbow killer. Now, if it's not a mysterious quest, then it means the zombies are being the heroes. Okay, here we are. Well, rough terrain. Yep, seems quiet. That is a definitely a good indicator that we are dealing with a crossbow killer. Let's back up a little bit and shine our headlights in. Oh no. I'm 
so sorry I wasn't faster. I'm not. Ooh, this guy has like tactical gear. Maybe he's got pretty good stuff. Huh? Did someone seriously uh somebody heard me. Wow. This this person has a lot. I mean, I was wondering if they had some good stuff, but that's a lot of stuff. Let's throw some of this in the back, the stuff that won't stack. Um, we'll see if we can take these guys out quietly. Oh, I thought I, I didn't get the execution. No, I was hoping to, but that one just screamed. Which means we gotta get in our car, because reinforcements are on their way. Okay, so, um, yeah, about that. There's apparently a lot of loot in that house, and I want it all. So, we are going to have to make a drive or two in order to make this happen. Fortunately, our base isn't that far away. I'm going to leave that house marked, though, which means I have to open up the map repeatedly in order to actually know where it is. And to know where my base... Oh, I can drive through that. Where do I go? Left. Yeah, that guy with the tactical gear, he had a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm not, let's get, not complaining, but still. We can repurpose all of that stuff. We can either make parts or we can sell it. And if we make parts, we can sell the parts or we can do other things too. So we need it all right now. Quick and easy standing for Amelia. Very nice. Uh, let's throw all this in. I might even throw the fuel in just to clean up a little more space. I'm also going to get rid of the scent block just to get a one more inventory slot. Every slot is going to matter right now. Now let's go back and try to gather up as much of that stuff as possible. And then we will go deal with the crossbow killer. Uh, people keep saying that they can't get the crossbow killer to join their team. The thing is that the crossbow killer has a single condition that will cause them to join your team. And uh, what that condition is, is that your community has to have four people or less. Uh, you have to have fewer than five people in your community, and then he will join you. So if you have five people or more, the crossbow killer will always... The crossbow killer will always choose to, like, not join you. Okay. Now, I feel like the other characters won't have nearly as much stuff as this guy. I feel like this guy was kind of the standout. Because he had the tactical gear on. These other people, I'm expecting maybe, like, four items each. Maybe, you know, maybe five because of the crossbow bolt. Okay, a little more than I was expecting, but we might be able to fit all of their stuff in this one trip. Where is the last one at is the next question. There should be three of them. Probably have to check the corrals themselves. Ah! Oh, this guy must, this is, must be a red talon. This guy has a red talon outfit. So this, oh, wow. Uh, that, it was unexpected. I didn't expect him to have such high quality equipment. Oh, wow. He's got a gas launcher too. Um, I wish I had room for that. okay. So this was formerly a crazed red talon community that, is, oh, and yeah, that's right. I completely emptied this. It is so good to be here. Maybe I can fit everything then. Oh my god, that's, it's so good. It's so good. What is my cardio? Ah, marathon. Okay, let's drop this stuff off, and then we can go deal with the crossbow killer. You know what's funny is, I don't think the gas launcher is very good. I, I just collect gas launchers because of their novelty. 
You know, what would make the grass launcher better is if it had a magazine. If it was magazine fed, then it might actually be decent. But the fact that you can only fire the shots one at a time, I think that really reduces how good it is. Because then it's like, you know, you could throw the gas farther than you can, like, you can, you can, th you can't shoot, throw it farther. You can throw the gas faster than you can shoot it. And honestly, I don't feel like the grenade launcher even shoots the gas all that far. Okay. Now let's get the car ready with some gasoline and some of this. Let's get two of them. Actually, no. Let's just do one. Refuel. Put this in the back just in case something happens to the vehicle. And also, um... Let me just throw one of these back, because she might be carrying a strong painkiller. Maybe she's only carrying one. And if she's only carrying one, then maybe I'll save an inventory slot. Okay, so yeah, we are going to take out the crossbow killer, mainly because the crossbow killer always has good loot. The Echo X3 repeating crossbow, and then some halfway decent luxury items. Like, she usually has some, like, hard liquor on her. And, um, that's, that's much more useful in my hands than in her hands. I could definitely find some uses for that. How do I get there? Looks like I need to cross over the bridge over here. always forget how rocky the terrain is. It's not as bad as some of the other maps. It's just this map is kind of in the middle. See, here's another rocky area that I don't think I could drive. Yeah, I, I literally have to drive around it. Now, I'm going to try to, like, take her out faster than I normally would. And I believe I'm going to try to burn her with the, uh, the pyro launcher. The reason the pyro launcher is useful in this specific situation is because it, it's only a single hostile, and I can just constantly burn her. Why don't I just let the... I'll just let the... Um, I'll just let him soften up the... Uh, the crossbow killer. Okay, interesting choice. I want to have my vehicle close by in case... Okay, I don't want it so close that I could accidentally... Just the pyro launcher will devastate my vehicle, so let me just put it right here. Okay, so I'm just going to burn this guy. I want the will become hostile. Okay, so the plan is burn him until he falls once. Then we'll get in the car. And because obviously the zombies are going to hear it, now we'll let the zombies finish the job. So we use the pyro launcher to do a ton of damage to him. And now the zombies can finish the job, right? Okay. I said the zombies will finish the job. This is the part where the zombies finish the job. Hmm. This area is a little hard to negotiate the terrain. Okay, or the zombies won't finish the job? Okay, alternative idea. Alternative idea. Maybe we should have just kept burning him. I didn't think that I thought the zombies would be a little more aggressive than this. But fear not, I do have an alternative idea. I will run them down. I 
I don't I don't think he likes it. Well, I mean that's what you get. You brought the, the uh you brought the crossbow to the car fight, you know? What can you expect? And this is also the reason why, like, you know, people ask me, why don't you run survivors over with cars more often? I mean, you can. It's just not as fast as you'd expect it to be. And don't forget, that is with me also beating him up. Uh-oh. Did I make him disappear? Maybe my car is sitting on top of him. Okay, good, my car. Okay, I was a little worried. I was a little worried. Oh, zombies are attacking the base. That's kind of inconvenient. Eh, I don't have time to deal with it. It's not a big deal. Because I gotta go to work. And, uh, so, so that's what I was saying. Like, okay, it wasn't quite enough, but you get the idea of what I was going for, hoping that they would stack together. It's not a big deal, though. Let's throw our hard-earned loot there. Uh, yep, yeah, I gotta go to work, though, so I figured I'd get this nice episode out, and now it is time to get my clothes on and go to the normal job. Anyways, thank you for watching today's episode. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content. Uh, stay tuned for, like, more Hyper Community World Tour, because we are going to be taking a look at every single base in the game by the end of this very extended season. But anyways... Let me know what you think in comment section. Like the videos and subscribe for future State of K2 content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.